A new cycle in the global economy and financial markets is underway. However, City Private Bank believes that this is no ordinary new cycle. The coming recovery follows an engineered collapse in the economy, the fastest downturn in history. In response, governments and central banks around the world have imparted massive stimulus. As a result, today's investment landscape looks rather different to previous new cycles. In particular, beating down opportunities aren't nearly as widespread as they have been before. Our view is that this new cycle therefore demands rather different investment tactics. What sort of growth might we see in this new cycle? This chart shows our forecast for the world and certain key regions and nations. In the US and China, we look for stronger recoveries in 2021. Indeed, we think investors may be taken by surprise by the revival of the US economy once it reopens. By contrast, the Eurozone in the UK looks set for deeper downturns and weaker recoveries. The strength of each country's recovery will likely depend on various factors. Greater reliance on trade and tourism, for example, is likely to be a drag on growth. How much fiscal stimulus each country applies will be another important factor. Right now, the US is leading the way in terms of net fiscal stimulus for 2020. We believe the outlook for fiscal stimulus will remain important into 2021 and beyond. In previous new cycles, beaten down risk assets have typically been more widespread. Today, however, we see massive dispersion and bounce back potential. Put simply, only assets that have actually sold off can then go on to recover. Our new cycle investment strategy therefore stresses a more discriminating approach to portfolio positioning. A key part of the strategy will involve rotating towards equity sectors that have been hit much harder amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Among such sectors, which we call COVID cyclicals, are industrials, real estate, and consumer discretionary. Such COVID cyclicals have significantly underperformed the sectors that we call COVID defenses, which include IT, healthcare, and communication services. We envision a tactical rotation away from COVID defenses and toward COVID cyclicals over time. Elsewhere, we have already begun rotating into select beaten down areas, such as US small and mid cap equities. We also favor Latin American equities, which has sold off especially hard. In the first year of the last cycle, the MSCI Latin America index had risen by 98% in US dollar terms by December 2009. At the same time, we're maintaining exposure to our key themes, such as unstoppable trends, which we believe are critical to long-term portfolio growth. By contrast, we reduce exposures in regions and sectors whose recoveries will likely lag. Seeking portfolio income has become even harder in 2020. The economic shutdown in response to COVID-19 has driven bond yields lower and has forced many businesses to cut dividends. In this climate, we continue to recommend dividend growers, equities and companies that have consistently grown their dividend payments over time. The challenge now is to identify those who are likeliest to sustain their dividends in today's unprecedented environment. As well as the track record of dividend growth, we focus on resilient business models from more insulated industries. Since 19 February's market peak, dividend growers from more insulated industries have outperformed equities as a whole. At the same time, we see various possibilities for putting cash to work and seeking yield and fixed income, while also diversifying portfolio risks. Among our preferred markets are U.S. investment-grade corporates, high-quality short-term asset-backed securities, and certain preferred stocks. As the COVID-19 pandemic took hold, we advised directing new investment dollars towards industries that were least impacted by social distancing and economic shutdowns. This included many industries that we were already recommending as part of our Unstoppable Trends themes. Unstoppable trends are powerful long-term forces that are revolutionizing the ways we live and do business globally. Digital disruption, the shift in economic power towards Asia, 
and increasing healthcare demand from aging populations are among the trends to which we have recommended exposure. We believe the experience of COVID-19 and the post-pandemic outlook will likely add further momentum to unstoppable trends. For example, e-commerce has become even more dominant at the expense of traditional retail. As 5G wireless networks roll out over the coming years, we expect further uptake of digital content and services. So even while many of these industries are far from beaten down right now, we continue to recommend exposure given their long-term growth potential. While today's news cycle may feel like unfamiliar territory, we still see potential investment opportunities across many asset classes and industries. At the same time, many investors aren't positioned for a recovery in the economy and markets. Times of skepticism about the outlook have traditionally proven favorable times for putting cash to work. Is your portfolio positioned for the new economic cycle? To find out, please ask us for your very own Outlook Watchlist report.